Welcome back to Put You On. My name is Michael. I'm here with my dad. Hey everyone, it's Mike. And today we're listening to an album called Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. So I put uh, up the poll. Now I remember. Okay. On Patreon. <laughs> uh, see, luckily enough for me, that's the album that I wanted, but I was going to let the Patreon decide. Oh. Uh, but that is the one that I wanted. And it, it won. It's the one that won? Yeah, it's at okay. like 65%. So oh, pretty, wait, you offered a choice? Yeah, I did. Oh, I put see, four I didn't for, see the choices. I put four for albums, the four that we haven't done. Because I was like, I wouldn't even know which name. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if I were the one picking, I would pick this. So I'm glad that they did. I mean, okay. I would have gone with whatever one. Okay. But um, so we did the two back-to-back -back ones that she did, the yeah. Sweetener and the Thank You Next, right. which Thank You Next you liked a lot more than Sweetener. Uh, Sweetener, remember, was like half Pharrell, half max martin yeah the second one was i think more mature the second one was a little shorter a very big showcase on her vocal range i thought yeah and I great remember songwriting you no know, with the speak all the topical things about herself and her relationships yes yeah and and how you explained to me uh what she did for the people at the concert oh where yeah it was a shooting that was yeah. impressive um so this is her third album Another album from 2016, just like Kanye's was. Um, it's called Dangerous Woman. So there was, it's kind of like a series of three albums, like the Thank You Next, the Sweetener, Thank You Next, and then Positions. But this one, so this one we're going back now. We're not in recent times. We're kind of going back. Um, I don't know if this is her, mo I can't even say it's her most successful album just because, you know, she's continued to skyrocket very strong, heavily after this. Uh, this is the one that stands out to me, though, when I think back on her early career as being the thing that propelled her into a much more massive star. So, yeah, of her early works is probably my favorite. Um, it's just a really solid pop. Like I said, I think it's the to me, it's the pop album that just made her a full on pop artist. Like, no questions asked. Um, a couple of features on here. Pretty compact in length 11 songs um yeah so this is her third album 2016 first songs called moonlight Very sweet, very pretty. Yeah. Um you know she can sing. Can't deny it. Yeah, it's it it's almost like I don't even care what the words were. You, she, th those could have even been like made up words. It's just the way she was hitting those notes. I I could just listen to her hum those yeah. words even. It's just really I think the intro to every album so far we've done and most of hers starts with uh slower track that's focused on mm. her voice it's always like a slow ballad to kind of bring you in yeah i mean it hits all the classic um i would say cliches for uh, uh or you know the setup for a, a great pop song it's got the uh you know uh young lust young love 
plucky plucky strings yeah almost like a music box um moonlight you know really paints the picture track uh, two is the title track it's called dangerous woman yeah let's see how she carries on transitions I think this was the, I think this was the first Don't big hit to come on this album. To test my limits, cause it's my business. God has my witness. Stop what I finished. Don't need no hold up. Taking control of this kind of moment. I'm locked and loaded. Completely focused. My mind is open. All that you got going to skip. Scale. You like that, right? When it's <laughs> unreal. One, two, three, four. La 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 la. la. A little more punch. Yeah. Than her chorus voice. It's a little lower at times, which almost sounds like Beyonce. But like, like this attitude. part, like yeah, the attitude, the power. Funky, yeah. Nice guitar work. Very good. Nice. Yeah. I, I, I like so. I like that transition from the what feels like innocent girl next door to boom. Yeah, <laughs> like confident. Epic. Don't mess with me. Uh, I, I could almost hear like it almost reminded me of, and the lyrics were kind of similar. You make me feel like a dangerous woman, but it made me feel like like a natural, natural woman. woman that? Right? Who is that? Oh, you it. Make me like uh, it's been covered by so woman. many people. But um, it's like kind of a little play on that, yeah. But just, I, I mean, it the little bit of rap in there, what felt like rap, or the you know, the way she delivered it, it, it really gave me strong uh connection to Beyonce, yeah. So at that age, to be you know, and uh, with such confidence at this, yeah, young age, it's yeah. wild. I mean, it, you know, Beyonce can do that with such, I, I, I've always admired that about her. Yeah. Her power ballads. Yeah. You know, where she can really make you feel that. And this is just as good as. Empowerment. Yeah. And that's what this feels like. So, yeah, that's track two. Track three is called Be All Right. I'm going to be all right. Who was that? <laughs> Kendra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good over it though
Maybe that one for me, maybe it was the house thing. Yeah. But it, it felt a little bit more measured, a little bit more yeah. controlled. Yeah. Like her, her voice was more deliberate as opposed to like, you know, wild and hitting crazy notes. So uh, musically, it was okay for me. Her voice is still great in spots. Yeah, the production is definitely more. I think forefront. that was on the forefront on that one, yeah. which for me, it, for, personally, that's just not my, you know, like the... And that stuff, I don't, uh, uh, it feels very old uh, when, when they do that kind of stuff. For me, like, like not current. Like, I don't know that the, uh, I know house music is still being done. Yeah, I mean. But it's a little more. It's evolved a little bit. Like uh, techno, I think house is a little bit more tech, has become, no? No, I mean, it's okay. it's evolved in different ways. But okay. I, I, I would say, yeah, maybe it's a little more of the time this style of yeah that's what i'm gonna electronic. say electronic that's what i'm gonna say like especially with like the the high pitched like the high pitched dun, 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 and the little background and then even that's at kind the of, end that's kind the, of faded out a little tweaking bit now of the you know having a a tweak i still voice think it's fun i still think it's a fun song it, it was okay for me um track four is called into you this was another big hit I mean, you could just tell by the numbers. 1.3 billion. I'm so into you. I can barely breathe. And all I want to do is to fall in deep. Oh, baby, look what you started. The temperature's rising and here is this going to happen. But for me, that's her signature right there right here like when i hear her yeah like when i hear that i almost know it's her yeah with any any dance move yeah. that works <laughs> like her sweet spot blending the production with the vocals more right because it yeah and it just feels Equally more as, contemporary yeah um i you know unfortunately well fortunately or unfortunately the i guess the pop world right now is just dominated by women yeah so what when For i say part, I when say. i say unfortunately it's like I can't help but think of the others I've heard oh, to right draw now. comparisons. You mean, yeah, in the and, immediate moment, and that one very much felt very Dua Lipa-ish. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dua, I made a new word, Dua Lipa-ish. Dua Lipa-ish. You know how uh, I know sometimes I say I comment on how the alliteration of the words. Yeah, hers are very chopped off. Uh, the words seem to blend one into the other, where it's almost like she's not even forming a. Uh, a distinct break yeah. in the words, but you can hear always, the, uh, 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 you hear the melodies all throughout, though, like waving up, down, and and I think that's why she she it melds so well because whatever whatever it is she's saying, she it almost comes out like one word. Yeah, like you said, it's very fast, 
So yeah, in my it's ear, it sounds like a little more conversation, a little yeah, less yeah. conversation. Like, you know, the, she really runs and you can almost yeah. hear it like they they pull back on the break of the word and just let her soft, softly right, right. keep them together. Right. Yeah, it's a great track. Uh, probably one of her most known tracks along with the next one, which is called Side to Side. Another, It was another huge hit. Uh, this is featuring Nicki Minaj. Oh. Uh-huh. This is a huge song. I've been here all night. Ariana. I've been here all day. Nicki Minaj. And my heart you got me walking side to side. I'm talking to you. main thing is just the strum is the, down is the reggae beat yeah but her voice is just she carries the whole track Type of flow, wrist icicle, ride deck bicycle. Come true, yo, get you this type of blow. If you want a manage, I got a tricycle. All these bitches flows is my mini me. Maddy smoking, so they call me young Nikki Chimney. Ariana Run Pop. These friends keep talking way too much. Say I should give them up. Can't hear them, no, cause I. Just like an airplane flying off <laughs> and gliding away. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the classic reggae beat, which that is. I mean, that is just that's the signature sound. And, the beach um, island vibe. Yeah, and I, I was curious to see what she did with it. And she didn't do too much with it, which I liked. It did when it broke into like her verse. Nikki, you mean? No, no, or uh, Ariana. Ariana with the oh, side okay. to side. Um, it, it was it was well done. Like it didn't. Uh, she didn't try to change her voice to ma- to make it sound right, right. Uh, Caribbean. Yeah. And that feature, I was very eager to hear Nicki Minaj because I don't know if I've ever really. I, I mean, I know maybe I've heard pieces of her. Uh, like, probably the most notable thing you've heard of her was uh, on the Kanye album, was on the the monster verse that she has, which and she's I know such she's a great got rapper. more than that. You know, I know she did the extremely uh, talented rapper. Yeah, didn't she do something with with Cardi uh, Jenner? Cardi Jenner, Cardi B, <laughs> and then there was a feature with. Kendall Jenner walking down the something I, with a snake or I, I don't have know. No idea. Anaconda or was that the, am I getting the wrong? Oh, Anaconda. Yeah, yeah, that was Nicki Minaj. That was like six, seven years ago or something. I'm pleasantly surprised of how she sounded. She's a fantastic rapper. I think it was a good feature for this because yep. uh, Jamaican music is a little bit risque, and I don't. Th- I couldn't see Nikki. I couldn't see Ariana Grande using uh, the lyrics that Dick Nikki bicycle. was able. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Track six is called "Let Me Love You" uh, with another rap feature. This is featuring Lil Wayne. Okay, so okay. Oh no, wrong that one. Wrong, wrong rapper. I don't know. <laughs> uh, do I know him much? You've heard him featured a couple times on the channel. Tyler and Jid have had him, but on not his own no, work. No. <laughs> Are you a fan? Oh yeah. Okay. I just broke up with my ex. Now I'm at a single. I don't really know what's next. But I ain't even tripping. I'm a jealous. Stay back. I know they gon' be coming from the right and the left. Left, left. I just broke up with my ex. You know what I'm feeling as I'm laying on your chest. 
has the rap. But you see how all her words? Yeah. Okay, I know who he is now. Yeah. Another very uh, easily recognizable rap voice. One of a kind. Yeah, I know because he talks so low in his interviews. Yeah, I love it. It's like he has a natural talks. filter on his voice. Yeah. more of a low-key uh, sultry yeah i'd say it's sultry yeah. definitely not a, as grand as not definitely uh, uh, uh other hits uh, i'd say like a bedroom bedroom song yeah. you know soft make out yeah um good feature lil wayne i mean he doesn't really have any bad features he's i want kind of silly kind of fun light-hearted you yeah know? yeah it's not nothing too <laughs> no no crazy no right no no big vocal display yeah um yeah I, i'd put that in the in the make out category right yeah something you'd want Again, to have on still fitting with the mm -hmm. theme of pushing maybe a little more yeah a little bit side. but still uh, keeping with the dangerous woman a little yeah. risque yeah. a little fun but not too you know he didn't say anything about her you know he has, was that, he has a funny her line kitty says, cat uh, on her grande <laughs> yeah grind grande. on her grande <laughs> yeah, and then grande. also uh my ex left me no biggie. I Tupac shook her. <laughs> so that was track six. Track seven is called Greedy. Big wall of sound. Yeah. Nice horns, right? It's like this is pretty much all her voice. It's just crazy how many different things she could do with it. Yeah, uh, total, total, uh, all out. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody get out there and just jump around. Dance party. Yeah. I, something I'm thinking about that there's something just, I, I think that there's something about her voice. I, I think that pitch just instantly makes her sound more sexy than let's say like a, I'd say then most of the other pop artists with maybe the exception of Dua Lipa where, where it doesn't seem like she's trying so hard to sound sexy, but there's just something about the, the pitch of it that makes most of the songs come across that way, unless she's softening it to really sound like a, um, you know, like a moonlight or something. Yeah. There's just something about it, I think, that like 
instantly gets you. Yeah, yeah. And, and and you wouldn't necessarily picture her as I know height and body size doesn't doesn't matter for people, but you, you wouldn't know to 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 hear her. That she's the appears yeah. to I mean, be you the could little. Say that bitty. about any any artist that you don't know what they look like uh, when you hear them sing or rap or. Yeah, I think her stature like. though of of being small and petite um, lends a lot to her her voice being that um, high, if that's possible. No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think there's any correlation <laughs> at all. Oh. I mean, I think you just know what she looks like, so you're it, it, it instantly the comes to mind. Yeah, but it, I yeah. don't think there's any correlation. Okay. But yeah, it's a fun song. It's just very seventies dance. Mm-hmm. Nice sonics. Tower of power horn section <laughs> yeah. going on. Yeah. Just a great fun song. Track eight is called Leave Me Lonely. This is featuring Macy Gray. I love Macy Gray. Dangerous love. You're no good for me, darling. Pretty opposite range of Ariana. Yeah, totally. Like I'm begging for a dime. I work with a woman whose natural speaking voice sounds like Macy Gray. Oh wow. And and everybody's told her and she didn't even know who Macy Gray was. I get a chill inside. Her first name is Stacy. Macy Stacey Gray. Stacey. <laughs> More R and B, yeah. Five. Sound, huh? Yeah, the she's whole good. Record. Macy Gray is great. She brings a whole new like element to the rich, song. Very rich. Blues. Arpa. I mean, you know me. And... Oh, I mean, if there's any song that's going <laughs> to yeah. be your favorite or close Oof. to your favorite, that's like right up your alley. Ah, it was oozing blues and R&B yeah. and just soul gripping uh, music. It, it was like salty and sweet at the same time. And you wouldn't, this wouldn't be a feature that would come right to your brain when you hear Ariana. Like you wouldn't think that this would be. A nice, a great collaboration. No, I but. always, I mean, yeah. What 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 Macy was laying down is exactly what she does, right? But credit to Ariana for and and that's what I that and that's what line. I think this album is is mostly featuring now is this sultry. In, in addition to some of the dance jams, I mean, sexy is is right. Sexy you said is it the right. last track, but this is like yeah, and the fact blown. that it's like Playboy Bunny ish looking mask. But also has that. This is like a like an S and M type of feel to it. You know? This is more like, like a mature, sexy though, like a. That's exactly yeah, like very, like not play not as kitty like. like I don't know how she broke from the Nickelodeon to even the nineteen twenty year old Ariana, but if this was the first time yeah. she she, this she, is like a full on, her becoming her own artist woman. And, yeah, track nine is called. Every day, and this is featuring Future. Remember 
how I said before, I would listen to her just hum. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If she could do that on every song and I'd be intrigued. <laughs> she has a very cool voice. Yeah, it, 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 it picked up here. Yeah. I got your body and put it in dry, baby. Like I got keys in. We about to take us a vacation. I'm about to put all this bitches loving on you, baby. Like it was the late 80s when you ride on me, baby. Rotate it. Give me the good shit. Yeah. That make me not quit. The good shit. Go. That one was interesting. I, I felt like maybe the first minute, minute and a half, there was too much of give me that good shit every day, every day, every day. Yeah. It wasn't until the first time she started doing the la la la. Yeah. And then and Future came actual in. And actual feature where he's rapping. It trick. feels like the song is just custom made for that. Yeah. So I would have liked to have heard either more interaction between... I would have liked to heard more more uh, Back flow and forth. in the beginning, yeah, and then then her, he give me that good shit would have been okay if yeah. if he had a if there was a more of lyric in between her doing that and him doing every day. Every, there was a little bit too much of that. I felt like man, if that's gonna is that gonna be like the whole yeah. The way I always think about the song is like yeah, I love Future as a feature. I think he fits perfectly. With, but with, I just think Ariana should have done, she should have done the chorus. It should have just been Ariana doing the chorus. Future's vocals looping on the chorus sound just a little weird. Like they try to make him sound pop. Exactly. Where he's not a pop artist. He let needs him, to do his own thing. Let him do the flow. When he's going every day, every day. It's If she was saying every day, every yes. day, that would be a whole different She could have song. done, give me the good shit and, 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 and every day. But even in between that, let there be a play on it. Yeah. Because his, what he was saying. His vocal loop is just a little odd. He, yeah. It's weird. But yeah. his actual. When, when he goes when off his on his part himself, came in, it great. was like, ah, this is what that. Yeah. This that, is what. That's what future sounds like. like that's. And his everything lane. I felt up to that point was if, 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 if it had continued that way, I would have been like, uh, uh-uh. uh, track 10 is called bad decisions like future on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> bad decision. At least it was far down in the album. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's not a long track. No. What's this one called? Bad Oh, Bad Especially has the quick lyrics. I was just gonna say it. <laughs> One word just blends into the next. Even stupid, like you know, you don't hear stupid. You hear, yeah. I feel like I feel like that that type those types of songs are uh, they must be great like live and in concert because I yeah. feel like they have like the potential for 
big production oh stage yeah stage dancing just massive sounding you know having her being lifted up by the dancers you know it's uh, you could just see lights and yeah everything that like explosions like taylor did on stage with the beyonce super flashy yeah that's a that's a you know yeah super bowl halftime oh yeah Give me three minutes and I'll show you what I can do. Yeah, just go all out. It's yeah, a, that's a great track. It felt like an all out song. Yeah. I, I like that this album has, um, we talk about it a lot, one-offs. Yeah, great um, variety. Yeah, it, it, there's no, while Dangerous Woman, while I think, still, is the overall theme. consistent to the theme. Yeah, but each one is very listenable on its own. Yeah, and I think that's why there were so many like massive hits that came off that yeah, album. Yeah, each one could be released as a single and you'd, yeah score yeah so we're coming on the final track already uh it's called thinking about you it's track 11. a lot of good beats oh yeah her production is always you could tell she is very in tune with the I've been thinking about you. she did a lot of the production yeah, on the album too which is also very mm. impressive with the But then when she comes down, she sounds so sweet and yeah, innocent. Heavenly. Yeah, yeah, and you don't expect that big. Yeah. Got these thoughts in my head. You know it's a forget. Got me losing my breath. See, forget. Like, like, yeah, you don't see like a little finesse on her. There's no distinct. That one feels very cinematic. Oh yeah. Right? It's especially for the closer. Yeah. All the closing credits yeah. are going in a movie and yeah. walking out to this. Yeah, I mean yeah if, if she hasn't tried or if there's anybody out there a uh, movie producer i don't care who you are or director or ariana if you haven't thought about getting that into a movie that's a must that that would work into any rom, rom you know rom-com yeah, movie yeah. i mean boy and that, a perfect placement like after all this like bad girl kind of stuff to put the to put the real right back yearning to, one right at the end like yeah all right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i still think about you too like yeah but with and the vocals are such a wild. soaring yeah i mean it's just a gift i mean that last little tiny little run she goes on is like <laughs> so fucking like you said, it sounds like she's like she'll be a mile away from the mic. It's just it really does. I mean, I, I'm I'm very it's like a god. <laughs> I'm very interested to. He we, I need that you know, toy. Oh yeah, you know, and um, okay. So I haven't w looked at anything yet because I've been saving it for us to sit down. But she just put out her first comeback single for her new album. But she posted this whole long video, like an eight minute video on Instagram, of her in the studio working on the vocals for it but i couldn't even watch it because i didn't want to spoil anything oh wow but I, i'm sure it'd be cool to see like yes i saw like it was like a video of her like that she was recording herself in the booth like doing different vocal takes and i'm like how they make them stand God, with the, like with the circle in front of it and they had to yeah you but, know i mean put their head up it's just her voice yeah like, what i'm trying to come down to is that her voice is just really insane. yeah i i mean whether it's isolated or or not or however you do it i i have to believe that if it was uh, you know, if, if you're listening to it without all the production, it, it would probably just blow our minds even more than it does on a song. With the production. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I personally have been holding off <laughs> on listening to her new song that she put out. Uh, Are we going to do it? Three days ago. Yeah, I haven't queued <gasps> up. And it's been hard. 
because it's been fucking everywhere. I keep seeing people reacting and posting it. <laughs> but I purposely waited because I wanted to watch it with you because okay. I knew we were going to do her. What's uh, it called? Um, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's called that. Yes And. Yes And? Yes And question mark. Okay. Turn this off. I haven't listened to it yet. All right. Let's, but, uh, but we'll stop this first. Oh. Um, you're heading over to the Patreon yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, so yeah, that was that one. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you. I, I had a good feeling you'd enjoy it. I, I did enjoy it. Um, and again, there's I've, just like you said, there's pop just, is not my lane. But I've been showing you some good ones. Though. You have. <laughs> yeah. Like between and I her really, and Dua and Billy, there's oh, so man. much talent. It is. I mean, pop right now, unless some male vocalist comes out of the blue, it is dominated by all those names you just mentioned. Oh, all of them. And Dua, then some. Even Lord still. Lord's still very popular. Dua, Lord, Billy, uh, Ariana, all of them. SZA even in that lane kind of, but. Yep. They're all just uh, Taylor, obviously. Yep. I mean, that kind of goes yep. without saying. But yep. yeah, that's just, they just dominate. But for good reason, I think. A lot of them. I mean, Beyonce. Oh yeah, Beyonce. But their music is so good. Like these people are very talented. Like Extremely. And I think what, what all of those different artists who are obviously very different artists themselves, but what they all have in common, the one thing I would say is that they're constantly evolving with the times and changing sound. None of them get stuck in, I'm going to make this. Well, it would be the kiss of death if they did. You but know. I think it just shows all their talent as individual musicians. Yeah. That they can keep up with the pop. And there's certain artists like, when I think of Drake, as much hate as he gets, like the reason why he's still relevant and has been for so, so long in rap is because he's constantly changing the sound and changing and, and switching with the time. Like, obviously, if you just stayed with that sound, it'd be safe. You'd keep your fan base. Which People is not like easy it. because who's but to it's say? very difficult. Who's to say what the time is, you know? Well, that's the, the thing. It's all like subjective. Could, and Yeah, I mean, music that I would like to make as an artist may not be right. what the uh, and a lot know. of times they, it doesn't work right they may Even say, with Drake, like there's some of his albums that get so much hate uh, but some people love it hey man you got a great voice and you got a you play great instruments but right now we don't see you fitting in anywhere yeah yeah but she's very talented i'm so excited to listen to this <laughs> uh, so yeah Wait, are you signing off or uh, yeah okay we'll sign off here um uh, i know it's been a little while since we did ariana but you know we got a lot of artists to juggle <laughs> Um, but I figured it'd be good to do this in light of her returning right now. Seemingly like an album's coming out. Teasing. This doesn't, this doesn't seem like a random Teasing single Teasing that, that she's uh, close. Yeah, it seems like we're starting her the year. new cycle now. Uh, cool. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week with a new album, new video. Peace.